and we're live everywhere. So good morning, everybody. Uh, hope you're all doing good. Mm. Still waking up. <clears throat> a little. Been sleeping good. Got a new CPAP machine. It's all good. All right. So uh, I'll wait till you guys kind of accumulate. And I don't want to cover this too soon because then you guys won't get the message. You don't see it. It ain't happening. Like my buddy said, if you don't do a two-minute video on this topic, nobody's going to pay attention. Hey, hi from Oklahoma. How you doing? Um, so uh, as you guys can see on the thumbnail, we're talking about the seeds that are mysteriously popping up in people's mailboxes. I, I, don't, I don't know what human would be mailed mysterious seeds and plant them, especially in today's time. Don't know anybody. And yet, there are humans on this earth that are literally, hello from Indiana. How you doing? Hey, CJ, what's going on? So I'm just going to tell you straight out. If you're mailed any seeds that you didn't order, you need to get rid of them. And you're wondering, do I just throw them in the trash? Do I? I let, let's talk about what damage it could do, okay? Let's say these seeds, they're saying that they're coated with stuff. I don't know. Hey, Laura, what's up? Good morning. Um, let's say they're poisonous. Let's say our cows start grazing on it. Let's say our, our livestock starts dying. Let's say people start dying. Let's, I mean, there's a million things you could say about the seeds. And it's not just in America. My buddy Chris from Germany says they've been warned completely about it. And it's, it's crazy that you would plant them. It's insane. I mean, that's like mailing a donut to you and you eating it right out of the mail that nobody would do that listen so the, if the chinese want to destroy the world or take over the world or uh kill us from the inside out hey they know how americans are they know how people are in general there will be people who will plant these seeds get the word out please uh there is no reason if you've done it if you've posted pictures i mean you should be completely shut down from the world completely, that you planted unknown seeds. They're dangerous. So the way to dispose of them, they're telling them in Germany and in America, yeah, is to bake the seeds. You bake them at a high heat that will destroy the seed, whatever's on it, and then you double bag it, double ziplock it, and throw it in the trash. I mean, if you have a better idea, great. But don't put it in the ground because – if, let's say, China's trying to destroy us from the inside out, that's one way. Another one, I mean, there's a million ways they could do it. But, look, you know, may have started with a virus, and that wasn't successful. Uh, may have started with seeds. That's not successful. We need to stop being stupid, okay? There's a, there's a ton of people who have planted those seeds. Maybe it's the Chinese government getting back for our threat to ban TikTok. Has nothing to do with it. Um they're mad because somebody stood up to them after all these years in the trade wars. And, and we are now demanding fair trade where it's been completely one-sided trade. I know everything on Amazon's from China. Uh, everything I get is from a Chinese company. There's so much uh, that we do. Uh, Walmart does it. Everybody's doing it. Uh, they're doing product development and they work with these Chinese factories and stuff. I know Apple is now manufacturing in India, so that's kind of cool that they've already taken action. Uh, it, it is. Yes, it is crazy. We have to tell people not to plant seeds. Uh, hello from Canada. Hope you guys are doing good. God bless the Great White North. Um, so it, the bottom line is there's a lot of crazy going on. Every, I mean, that's like not going through your Halloween candy. I mean, you have to be smart. When you're mailed seeds, don't, don't plan them. Bottom line. I get candy from people. I'm going to from uh, as like a thank you, I guess. No, I, unless it's a reputable company that you've ordered from before and you know the company is reputable, if you just randomly get seeds from China, sorry. I've had things sent to the show. That I didn't ask for, I didn't set up, I didn't order nothing. Uh, food products, I don't eat food products anymore. I don't eat anything sent to me 
from you guys. I love you guys, but you know how it is, all right? So, uh, so what are they? Well, right now, they're fine. From what I'm, I don't even know if they're fine because they're saying there's a purple substance on the outside. That alone could poison the people who plant the seeds. Um, if you get the seeds and you want to bake them, okay, wear gloves, wear like the cleaning uh, silicone gloves, and just be careful. If you don't, if you don't want to bake them, double bag them and throw them out anyway. Uh, call the local health department, turn them over, let them analyze them. Uh, I'm hearing oregano. Well, it says in the article I posted on Facebook. You can go read the article, but it doesn't matter. I mean, right now, I feel like I feel like people are testing the temperature of America to see what we'll do on certain situations before they, you know, do whatever the the real damaging stuff to see if we'll be stupid enough to deal with that. Well, we're not. And as for TikTok, that's supposed to be banned like any any moment now because uh, Chinese government uses all of our data. So like, uh, I think the fear is if the Chinese government is monitoring us, which they've been doing for many years, um, they do it through this app, they can get all your information, they can get all your phone numbers, social security card, passwords, you keep password lists on your phone, you're screwed. So don't leave your passwords on your phone. Don't put it in your contacts. Don't do any of that stuff. You need to lock down every, you need to protect yourself. Please, protection of your life. And uh, uh, and I can guarantee you before the election, we're getting hit with something else. I just don't know what it is. I just, just be prepared. Just take care of your family and be safe and smart and uh, just hang on to the end of the year. Uh, but it, I feel like right now, it's kind of the quiet before the storm. You know how you've been in the center of a storm, it's real quiet. You ever been there? Yeah. So I, I, I find it hard to believe that there's been so much craziness because of politics. And as we get closer, it's not going. Other things aren't going to happen. I mean, I, I've seen things in this world that I never would have guessed. Um, with regards to the presidential election, I've seen things done with regards to our president that's completely illegal, and yet nothing happens to the people that make the threats or make the jokes or whatever. I mean, he's the president. I don't care. I prayed for Obama. I prayed for Clinton. I prayed for all of our presidents, presidents uh, that they're safe. I, I, you know, I never wish anybody to get for What sparked this video? Uh, seeds sparked this video um, basically because I really think it's important because I, why is the screen black? Don't know. I don't hear anybody else saying the screen is black. You want it to be illegal to make jokes about the president. No, I want it to be illegal to hold up a bloody head of the president and think that's a joke. That's what I want. I remember back in the day when I was a kid, you said anything, anything bad about the president, that was like against the law. You just didn't do that. You didn't threaten to chop his head off and have blood dripping from it. And we've had comedians do that and nothing happened to them. Well, things did happen regarding they lost their show and other things. But legally, I mean, that's, that's like a, a freaking, that, that's a crime. That's, that's unbelievable. Canada is receiving a lot of seeds now too. Okay, Canadians, you guys be careful. Everywhere, everybody at Belgium, Australia, Germany, Canada, Mexico, all of you, nobody plants seeds that come from overseas. How they don't have scan, I mean, they scan, they scan my shoes in the airport. How are they not scanning packages coming into the country? I don't know, but um, just be careful. I can't believe the U.S. is, is an election away of potentially becoming a uh, What's the deal with seeds? Oh, some of you may not even know. Okay, there's mysterious seeds being mailed to thousands of people from China. Okay, well, they kind of uh, hijack attack. What are you putting on the smoker this week? Be careful. It might be hot. Dog days of summer. I am so glad we're in August already. Uh, July was, goodbye. 
I'm so glad about that. But um, there are mysterious seeds coming from China being mailed to people randomly. Um, it's, it's not a marketing ploy. It's not a business trying to sell seeds. Um, there's no ad or card in it. They just mail them to you because they know that people, I mean, anything you think a person wouldn't do, there'd be somebody who would do it. So they just are hoping people will plant these. I know the Japanese ivy, there is a Japanese ivy plant out here that overtakes our trees, that kills our trees. It's a Japanese ivy. You see it driving from Nashville all the way to Knoxville. You see it all, everywhere. So this Japanese ivy plant, it chokes off a tree and, and destroys it. So, I mean, that's what can happen. That's the kind of stuff that can happen. That's the deal with the seeds. Don't plant the seeds. Um, uh, and whatever you do, don't ingest the seeds. For no, I mean, please, if you're going to plant them, you need to not eat anything that grows off that plant. Um, don't do it. Don't, yeah, change, don't change the ecosystem. Um, it's, it's, cra it's way crazy out there. You know, the seeds are harmful since the packages are disguised as jewelry, according to the article. Yes. Um, you know there's something bad. Please. There isn't some nice nice old person in the middle of China going, you know, I should send people some seeds. I think we need to grow more vegetables. No. That's not it. It's never it. Please. You know, and we know someone will absolutely plant mystery seeds for the hell of it. Yeah. Well, and that's why I keep telling you this. Don't plant the seeds. You guys all should post about the seeds. Grab a picture and do a post and let everybody know. Because I'm telling you, there's somebody in the U.S., in Canada, in Germany, in Belgium that will just do, 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 and plant the seeds. China has in the last 30 years has built their economy on the back of ours. Taxation was uh, non-existent from there and time to tax everything they import. They don't like it. Time to pay the piper. Yeah, we've kind of, we kind of made China who they are right now. So, I mean, I, I always love it when we, you know, you know, they do, uh, uh, no, I don't love it. Uh, I'm being sarcastic. Um, how we, you send, sell guns to the person who's going to shoot you, that kind of a thing. Don't, you don't work with people who are trying to harm people. You just don't do that. What if the seeds start growing in the land fields? That's why you turn it over to the health department. Let them destroy it. They'll probably put it in an incinerator so it just is gone. Uh, they want to also, they'll analyze the substances on the outside of the seeds. Don't touch the seeds. Don't smell the seeds. Don't do anything. Makes you wonder how China got names and addresses to mail them. That's another question. There you go. How do they know where to mail them? Who are they mailing them to? It's a mystery. But let's solve the mystery after you turn the seeds over to the authorities, okay? And, and if you don't know the health department number, you don't know, uh, like, CDC number or whatever, just call your, your local police and tell them. I would, uh, Trust me, they will give you the right information. Call somebody. Don't, don't get curious. Don't do that. People die from being curious. Don't. Curiosity killed the cat. You heard that phrase? Okay. Whatever you do, do not smoke the seeds. And on top of it, yeah, we all know. Don't, don't smoke the seeds. Okay. Um, uh, they know because the chip is called an Android or iPhone. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. But, but anyway, so there's a lot going on in the world. I need you guys to be safe. I got to help you carry through the election. We got to stick together, all of us. Whether we agree or disagree, we got to stick together. Because I remember, I remember the day after 9 11. I remember it was the most united this country ever got, was the day after 9 11. The most united. It was amazing. It's amazing to watch people come together and call the non emergency number. If you call your, yeah, don't call 911. They get enough calls that don't need to be there. So call the local number, uh, your police department. Um, hey, Jack, David, and Jesse from Olive Branch. Hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm having a blessed day already. I got my coffee here. 
Um, I'm talking with you guys. It's awesome. All right. So let's talk about food. What is the next thing going on the smoker? The next thing going on the smoker is... Oh, man. I'm feeling like another pulled pork, but um, I'm not sure. I've already done brisket this year. Um, I'm, th I, I'm thinking on maybe even a, uh, a turkey I want to do. I would love to do duck. Uh, I've got to find out where to get smoked duck. I mean, not smoked duck, excuse me. I'll smoke the duck, but I need to order it on ice and have it sent to me or find out locally where I can get it. Uh, there's a few meat companies I can contact. Yeah, so this is basically a food show. Uh, let me tell you what's going on with the Kukuma Jack Shop. We're going through a few changes. Um, right now, I'm doing videos. I got this scooter that I scoot around on because I can't step on my foot. I got a cast. Um, but I can't bend my leg as of today. For three weeks, I had to keep my leg straight. It's been on a chair. It's been a mess. Um, so I can bend my leg. You know, once... Once uh, I get out of this cast, it, it's going to be it's going to be on. So I'm going to be working on being more creative with merchandise, more creative with videos, more creative with openers, more creative with. I mean, a lot of things are going to change. Um, if you have a Bruno, if you have a Brazilian recipe, send it to me. But please don't send me anything that's been Americanized. Don't you know? It's like Mexico sending me a recipe for tacos. I want some really good Mexican food. Um, that we don't get here in America. Uh, beef ribs, membrane on or off. I think that whole membrane thing's ridiculous. I think the membrane on your ribs um, holds the ribs together to where, because uh, I've had ribs just fall apart on me, and uh, the membrane, you can always remove it afterwards. Uh, you don't have to ever remove it. Just don't eat that side. You eat the meat on both sides of a beef rib, and that's it. And don't peel off the membrane, chew on it, and eat it. You can if you want. I don't care. Some people eat tripe, which is, I think, cow lining, stomach lining. Uh, any new pizza reviews coming to the show? Yes, we've got, um, it's going to be Jack on the Go. Um, there's a few places that, more and more pizza places are doing cauliflower crust. And I have tasted some really good cauliflower crust at pizza places. Be careful. There's a lot of carbs still in the cauliflower crust where it probably makes, just be careful, ask for the nutrition on the crust because cauliflower crust will get rid of the carbs. But if you're binding it with carbs, it's useless. You might as well go with regular pizza, right? So, um, so make sure that you do your research at your local pizza place, but they'll charge you 2 or $3 more for the cauliflower crust. Hmm. I guess cauliflower is more expensive than dough. I don't know. I guess they're charging. They always check, man, when you find something that's kind of like healthy, cutting edge. You know, I know um, Impossible Meat, which scares me. Is it Impossible? Yeah. Impossible Meat's coming to Walmart. That's just, that just scares me. Um, by the way, I need to learn how to make some good smash burgers. Yeah, I got, I got some burgers. I got how to make the perfect burger. And then the awesome Asian burger is coming up also. Uh, I'm going to be working on that. Okay, guys, I've got a great egg cooker coming up. I'm telling you ahead of time, I'm spilling the beans. Uh, we're doing a product review. It's just a round thing, right? And you put water in there and you hard boil your eggs. I think it's in the microwave. Uh, hey, Tam, the egg cooker is in the microwave, right? That egg cooker we bought, it's for the microwave? Yeah. Okay. So check this out. You hard boil your eggs in there. whoop de doo There's a ton of them that do that. But you, before you take the eggs out, there's still water in there, and it's a complete sealed dome. You shake it. So you're shaking it like 10 times. You grab the side, and you, and you just shake it, and it peels the eggs inside. Like you're peeling garlic, same trick. Okay, so if this device works, I'm going to be very excited. I'm going to be very excited. It'll be one of my favorite devices of the year because it was thinking it was like 10 bucks. So I'll get you a link for it. We'll make sure you can get a hold of it if it works. How many failures have we had with eggs, huh? Peeling eggs. <clears throat> Let's see. 
but I don't have any plans on Smash Burgers yet. I'll have to look into that. Uh, I know a lot of other YouTubers have done Smash Burgers. I don't want to get in that. You know, you can go check those other channels. I just got on. What do the seeds have wrong with them? Okay, if you just arrived, China is, is mailing seeds randomly to people all over the world. And nobody knows why. And I don't care why. You need to call your local health department. Turn them over. And if they give you instructions how to destroy them, follow the instructions. But I believe they'll pick up the seeds. They want to analyze the seeds. Find out why is China sending people seeds. Uh, a lot of people are saying in the article that there is a purple substance on the outside of the seed. We don't know. I mean, they were generating a virus and it got out of the lab. And look what happened to the whole world. Okay. So we don't know if they've regenerated these seeds because you can cross pollinate seeds and all that stuff. So that's what we're talking about. Don't plant the seeds, turn it over. Don't touch the seeds, leave in the plastic bag. And in fact, I don't even care if they're in plastic bags, still handle with gloves. As soon as you, you know, just be careful opening packages in the mail. That's all. Um, I peel eggs in less than five seconds. It is no problem for me. Were you sent seeds? No, Philip. I was not sent seeds. I've never received any seeds. The last thing I got in the mail was my turmeric. I ordered it on Amazon. Not me, no seeds. There you go. Uh, these can be like viruses. Yes, they can destroy. You have no idea if they're planning on destroying anything. Using these seeds can destroy the earth. It's just horrible. It can just go crazy. It can kill our livestock and kill our plants. So meat eaters, vegetarian eaters, we already have a, a food supply issue. Already. We have a shortage on food around the world. So we don't need anything else to destroy our food. Uh, what if the seeds are good? Really? Did you really ask me that question? What if the seeds are good? Well, if the seeds are good, they're still getting turned over and destroyed. Go buy your own seeds. <laughs> this is this is like the cart that got in the lake and stuff, destroying the ecosystem. Yeah, there my my in-laws have a pond, okay? And there's fish in that pond that need to be taken out. There's snapping turtles in that pond that, that ruin the ecosystem of the pond. So sometimes you need people to tell you how to, you know, allow the 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 other fish to, to thrive. And whether that's put catfish in, whether that's pull out the uh, snapping turtles. I don't know. But you guys, it's really important. You have no idea. Uh, I will plant my seeds in my sister. Is that okay? Okay, well, that's not really a... Oh, first winner today. Congratulations. You're in the voice club. All right. So, yeah, sometimes they introduce things to an ecosystem and it goes all wrong. Uh, sounds like a Republican fear conspiracy. Someone plant the seeds. Okay. Well, no, has nothing to do with Republican. The fact that you would do that sounds like, um, just sounds stupid. Um, okay, yeah, there, wait, wait, really? Raul Rodriguez says they're growing, seem healthy. Okay, I, you know what? Once again, you can't get everybody to do the same thing. You know, do it for the health of other people. You haven't analyzed the seeds. You don't know what's inside the plant. You don't know when it bears fruit and you eat it, what you're intaking. But let me know how that works out for you, okay? Uh, I have no problem. You know what? I'm not trying to control your life. I'm trying to advise you guys. Growing hemp improves the earth, okay? Uh, good morning, Jack, and hello to all who did miss and what is the subject about? Uh, subjects about the seeds from China that are randomly popping up all over the world. It's, it's Listen. If it looks like a duck and it smells like a duck, it's a duck. So it scares me because people are going to plant these seeds because they're stupid. Absolutely. It scares me too. You guys, sometimes I'm embarrassed to be human. Uh, hi, Jack. Cheers from Brussels. Jack, make a slimy seed milkshake. Okay, guys, take it easy. All right? This is a, this is a serious topic that I'm trying to share with you. And I ask you all, to please share with all your social media because if we don't say anything, more and more people. I mean, people are going to plan it no matter what. There's always a person that will ignore every 
warning possible, even if their pants were on fire. Okay. But the more people we warn, the better grip we get on this. And one thing that's great about the internet, you know, we may have conspiracy theories, we may have stuff like that, but the truth always surface on the internet. So anybody trying to do evil to the world or evil to any country you live in, the internet, that stuff pops up. And once the truth gets out, you know, that's what's been good about the internet. It allows us all to communicate. That's why we don't want censorship either. All right, so keep everything free, you know? Uh, Uncle Aldi won't lie to you. Not sure what that means. Uh, turn the seeds into the Department of Agriculture. It don't matter. Turn it over to the police. Turn it over to the health department. Turn it over to the CDC. I, turn it over to somebody, all right? Uh, as far as I've researched, all my seed stocks are domestic. Now, you go buy your seeds. I know some people that go over to the Amish and get their seeds all heirloom. You don't know what heirloom is. It's like generations of seeds that have not been tainted. Uh, they've come from the original back in the day. Heirloom tomatoes are like some of the best tomatoes ever. Regular seeds are okay. If you purchase them, that's totally fine. You get strange seeds. I, I can almost guarantee they've been doctored. I can almost guarantee there's a reason they're mailing you the seeds. And it isn't so it can feed your family. It's not like China saying, oh, we're sorry. We're going to send you some pumpkin seeds. <clears throat> what would your favorite takeaway this week? Uh, let's see. This week, my favorite takeaway. Uh, you know what's really cool is that I can still do cooking videos. So if you notice, I'm on my little scooter uh, in some of the videos that are going to be coming up uh, because of my surgery. I really appreciated this week that I can continue to do what I do. So we brought in some simple recipes, uh, some useful recipes. We're doing some product reviews. Uh, we're trying, you know, with, if it wasn't for my wife, Tammy, I wouldn't be doing any of it. She is absolutely amazing. Um, let's see. Do you, do you not have a mod on here? Yes, I do. I have two mods on here. Uh, buy seeds from reputable sources. I follow Bumblebee. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Kevin H., you're right about the zebra mussels. I am from Lake Ontario region. Not sure what's up with zebras or zebra mussels. Let's see, Heather and Hill, yes, it was really bad in Lake Erie with the water. Yeah. So there's been, there's been some stuff damaged. Um, do the Amish sell online? Not that I know of. I mean, there are some people who claim to be Amish, but like when I go to the Amish farms, farms up in Kentucky, they're literally horse and buggy. I see them on the road. You got to be careful with your car. But they're a horse and buggy heading to their farm. Uh, you, you go right on their farm, and they've got a little store, and you can pick up their, their products. Some of the products are brought in from Pennsylvania because the Amish are bigger in Pennsylvania. Zebra mussels were introduced to Great Lakes, Jack, to clean up algae, and it's now ruined feeding for natural fish species. Okay, I, I got to tell you, Oh, man, we shoot ourselves in the foot so many times. When we try and fix the natural things of the earth, we, we can screw it up. So we need to be careful. Do you think football will happen this year? I don't care. I uh, don't care. Soccer, hockey, football, baseball. Baseball's a joke. You got these cardboard cutouts behind home plate. I, I was switching channels. I don't watch any sports anymore. I'm done with it. I think it's it's all been horribly done, and uh, not basketball, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Let's see. Can you sell seeds from them to us? I don't know what that means. Sometimes I try to be uh, uh, try to be. Hmm. Try to be clear in your questions. I just got a link. Some of you, oh, uh, there we go. No, I won't share that. Okay, some of you are a little upset that uh, I just got a link about the TikTok story. Uh, Row football, maybe NBA is going digital arena. Hmm, virtual headsets. Sounds like something I would have talked about. This is, the se this is the time of the world where virtual headsets would sell like hotcakes. And everybody can be on the 50-yard line Everybody, you know what? 
And then, you know, when they're all doing their national anthem stuff, you, you can just bypass that and block it out and until the game's on and turn the game on. When they're playing football, that's why you watch a football game. You watch football to watch football. It's like, imagine if I went in the kitchen and I start harping about the president in the kitchen while I'm cooking, doing a cooking video. You're like, I didn't, I didn't come to your cooking show for politics. I came to your cooking show for food. So everybody just needs to stay in their lane. You guys have heard me talk about that. You played that funny game in the supermarket again with Jack Jr. I did? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So Jack Jr. does this thing in the supermarket. I don't know if you saw my video on Jack and the Go. It's random. It, the video is called Random Date Night. And Jack Jr. and his what now wife, uh, only good thing that happened this year. So I'm holding on to it. It's got to suck to say, hey, when did you get married? 2020. Mm, really? <laughs> but you know what? They love each other. And that's all that matters. So they randomly move their arm up and down and they walk down the aisle, the chip aisle, and they randomly say, okay, stop. And then wherever her hand stops, those are the chips for the date night. Then they go to the movie bin and dive in and move their hand around and says, okay, stop. You grab the movie that your hand's by, you pull it out. That's the movie you're watching tonight. It's called Random Date Night. It was a great video we did. Uh, it's on Jack and the Go show. Uh, by the way, there's a uh, Fat Belly Pretzels. Uh, I got contacted by somebody who's a fan of Fat uh, Belly Pretzels. Uh, so they want me to review this place. This Whoever owns Fat Belly Pretzels here, in, they, they sell it in East Nashville and Hendersonville. And they're nice-looking pretzels. They're, they're regular large jumbo pretzels with a big fat bottom to the pretzel. And um, it's called Fat Belly Pretzels. They sell out every week, meaning Monday they'll put their pretzels on sale, and you know, enough that they can make like 50 to 100, I don't know. And they'll take orders, and by Tuesday they're sold out. And that weekend you go to Hendersonville or East Nashville for pickup only. So you can pick up your order. And they have like five flavors and uh, very, very exciting news it's very in demand sells out every week that's kind of cool so uh jack what's your favorite book after the bible of course um my favorite book is your favorite book what's my favorite book there was a uh, derek sivers was a really really good book it's one of my top books hold on i gotta pull it up i know i have it hold on there it is, Derek Sivers. Any, it's called Anything You Want. If you guys are trying to get somewhere in life, anything you want, you can obtain. Uh, it's by Derek Sivers. It's not a religious book. It is a great business self-help book. And it's called uh, Anything You Want. And I've listened to it. Uh, it's really, really good. That's one of my favorite books that I recommend to a lot of people. Let's see. Uh, Jack with but we came for food. But you bring up politics after you also just said, we heard you say it before, it sounds pretty hypocritical. Okay, well, first of all, you're an idiot and it's not hypocritical. I don't know how many times I gotta explain to you guys. You're going to the voice club, have fun in there. Okay, this show, I talk about everything. The live broadcast, you ask me questions about what's my favorite light bulb. I mean, I talk about anything. The food show, I don't talk about God. I don't talk about the president. I don't talk about anything in the kitchen. And for you to call me hypocritical just infuriates me because you know what? I work hard at not being hypocritical, trying not to say one thing and do another. And if I am hypocritical, I apologize for it. But I'm not apologizing today because I'm not hypocritical because I've already explained how the show works. I guarantee you don't watch the show. I guarantee you don't know Cooking with Jack's show. Okay? Hypocritical. It, it, well, you just basically spoke out of turn. It just, it wasn't right. I'm not hypocritical. I can talk politics. I can talk whatever I want, whatever you guys want answers to. Usually you guys dictate the direction. I try and bring it back to food, back to food. I try to keep down the road, but in the kitchen, it's all food, nothing else. Okay. Unless there's like a new hat out that I've designed or something. Okay. 
Oh, I am hypocritical. Okay, not a problem. You can go join him. Tell my friend hi in the boys club, all right? Um, so anyway, um, by the way, learn how to spell hypocritical. Yeah, it's, uh, did you plant the seeds? No, I did not. Hey, Jack, Nashville here. You should review Bellagio Pizza off West End. I've heard some good things about West End. Uh, if you haven't been there, no, I haven't. I'll, I'll have to make a note of that. Uh, Bellagio Pizza. You rock. Politics, religion aren't on the menu. Recipes, bam. Kick it up a notch. Thank you. Guys, I, 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 you know, I've explained a million times why the comments are off. I've explained a million times what this live broadcast is about. Uh, I've, I've explained a million times. I try to explain it, but there's always a new person who comes in and goes, what are the comments off? Why are you talking politics? Why are you doing? You know, I, I should probably just put out an explanation of how things work. You are lovely and not hypocritical. Thank you, uh, Dorada Brown. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, lots of trolls today, but that's okay. The Boys Club is growing bigger than ever. So um, I don't even know why I called the Boys Club. That's kind of funny because I thought it's an honor to be banned. It is an honor to be muted, to have your mouth shut. That must be an honor. <laughs> so I called it the Boys Club. Just sounded, sounded interesting because I really don't want to send anybody to the Boys Club. I give a lot of people room to joke in the comments. I try not to be too, because uh, I'm not I'm not in the censorship. Uh, but as my as my friend says, you can't you but you can't pick stupid. That's kind of a tough one. So anyway, all the haters, uh, it's about the seeds. Is there a movie you're looking forward to? Yes, Unhinged. You know why? Because it's the first movie back. I promise you guys, if you're playing movie fantasy or fantasy movie where you got to guess the big blockbusters i guarantee you the first movie back is going to do well man russell crowe has got the movie unhinged it, that movie could suck and you know what it's going to make millions around the world it's going to be it's the first movie back so i always said the first movie back all the first movies that come back are going to do really well because we've been unable to uh go to the movie theater and I got to tell you, we can watch the movie without wearing a mask, which means you can have your popcorn, you can sip your soda, you can eat your bonbons or whatever. Um, much love back to you, too. Thank you, uh, Corpse725. Uh, ah, la, and good, Gordon. There are a few out there that, that are nutty and fruity. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I love it. Have you ever eaten at Jack's? Uh, yes, I've eaten at Jack's. Once and it, it was is there a drive-in movie theater near you, Jack? There are two drive-in movie theaters near me. Wait, wait, let me finish the Jack's question. Sorry, that was rude. I apologize. Uh, I've eaten at Jack's. It's just kind of like a family restaurant, kind of like a um, a Kino's or a, a Coco's or just a family restaurant. I didn't see anything that stood out um, of that. Uh, now regarding the movie theaters, two movie theaters near me. One up in Franklin, Tennessee, I mean, Kentucky, and one down in Watertown, Tennessee. And basically, they're regurgitating the oldest movies. There's Jaws and Ghostbusters and Harry Potter. And they're just rerunning old blockbusters right now because nobody's released their movies. I would have released Unhinged in drive-ins, but I know they're going to maximize their dollars if they wait. So... I would have been like, but anyway, but when you go back to the walk-in theater, it's going to be bigger than ever. There's still going to be, you know, stipulations. So walking into the theater and going to your reserved seat, you'll probably have your mask on. And then when you want to partake in your snacks and watch the movie and all that, you can remove your mask to watch the movie. That's what I believe. They sent me an email explaining that. Okay. Thanks for your wisdom and information. I am African. American and thought that I would not be welcome. You have been pleasant and informative. I love you. That is so sweet. That is a sweet comment. Um, so basically, I've just, my, my parents raised us to love everybody. I never, I don't think my mom ever had to teach us, don't be like this, don't be like that. We just saw it in her. She was loving everybody. She goes, I don't care who you marry. I don't care who you love. I don't care what you do. I don't care who your best friend is, you know, make sure you're not 
doing drugs and drinking and all that. That was it. That's all she cared about. So that was really cool. Thank you for that beautiful comment. Oh, yes, I have missed the movie theaters and taking the kids out. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the movie theaters are going to be crazy. So what I want you to do is get the get your movie theater app that reserves your tickets. you got to reserve your tickets because it's going to be crazy at the theaters. Um, let's see. Are you planning to do another Barbecue Wars tour again? That's my all-time favorite. Uh, yes, I, I, I plan to. I just don't know when. I still have... I'm still shooting for Pizza Wars in New York. Not that I want to go there anytime soon because they're still working through some things. Uh, but the next Food Wars is Cajun Wars in New Orleans. We're going to be looking for the best gumbo, the best jambalaya. Um, we'll try the beignets. We're going to have to vote on things. Uh, I'm going to have to find, uh, put, a, put a judging sheet together. My buddy loves New Orleans. Um, I hear there's great people down there. And the food is just just off the top. And then I'll try anything, anything crazy out there. Like, you know, I'm sure I'm going to try alligator while I'm out there, you know. Thank you. Kuzo was the word I was trying to think of. I'm north of the Mason-Dixon. Gotcha. Well, I was born a, a Western boy, so. Medical school, not to be with you. I was just sad to hear about your stroke. Uh, thank you. I'll let that show. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Robert. Uh, thank you very much for that comment. You guys have some nice comments today, too. Uh, what up? What's up, Eric? So anyway, um, if you joined us, don't plant the seeds that China sends you. Get rid of them. Call your local authorities. All right. Just want to pop in with that. Do you like old movies like Casablanca? I'm watching right now. I'm in the middle of Hole in Your Head by, with Frank Sinatra. So, yes, I like Oceans, the original Oceans 11. My mom raised me. I was Three Stooges. I was love the Three Stooges. I was all a black and white fan. A lot of movies, The Thin Man. I mean, there's a lot of movies out there. Uh, the uh, Little Rascals. I mean, if it was black and white, I was watch Perry Mason. Um, well, I watched a lot of TV with my mom. And uh, let's see, Teenage Mutant Superstar. Isn't it funny how we all have different opinions and beliefs? At the same time, we all think we're right. It's a pointless effort to believe in anything without hard evidence of proof. And that's fine. And that's totally cool. Everybody, I don't believe there's any person on this earth that thinks exactly like I think, that believes everything I believe. I could list the top 10 topics of the world and put my opinion, and it, there's nobody in the world that would match it. All right? Jack, are you... Uh, Afro-American. You know what? I'm 10% black. I found that out when I did my test. I took my DNA test. And I'm, it's so funny because Jack's like, I'm 10% black. I'm like, you're not 10% black. I'm 10% black. That makes you 5% black. He goes, that's okay. I'm going to tell people I'm 10% black. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> He's so funny. He jokes around all the time. I love him. So what's your favorite music, Jack? Favorite music is the the... Well, my favorite music is the 80s. That's my favorite genre. My favorite band is Depeche Mode. My favorite artist is Frank Sinatra. I like everything from Mozart to Metallica. I like everything in between. I've DJed, I've DJed all rap clubs. I've DJed happy hours where I'm playing classic rock. I mean, I've done, I've been in, what's number one burger from Burger Wars? Oh, that's easy. Las Vegas, Gordon Ramsay, uh, the restaurant called Burger, B-U-R, it's B-U-R-G-R, capital G, capital R for Gordon Ramsay. Uh, remember these 8 millimeter movie reels you used to check out from the library and watch Little Rascals, Lauren Hardy, and Godzilla on the projector? Yeah, I remember that, right? Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, I remember that. I remember when it was a rainy day, the local pizza place would show the 8 millimeter uh, Laurel Hardy movies during rainy days. Or my school would do it, too, because you couldn't go out and play during lunch. So in the, in the cafeteria, they would show Laurel Hardy, Hardy movies while you're eating lunch. Remember those? Yeah. I, uh, Jack Black, laugh out loud. <laughs> Yo, Jack Black. Okay, the Jack Black comments are coming out. But anyway, yeah. So we found out I wasn't. 
100% Italian like I thought I was. Do you use any LED panel lights? Yes, I have two of them. Uh, they're around 500 to 600 watts each. Uh, equivalent, not powered right now. It's just equivalent to a 500, 600 watt light bulb. The panel, I have the uh, one by ones. I have two of them that I use on the set. And I'd love to go up in power and brightness because uh, I just would. It'd be awesome. Let's see here. Plus one for Jack Black. Okay, guys. We're not voting. I'm not changing my name. But anyway, you guys are just funny. The things you guys realize would be a really cool concept to make a movie series. You talk about the movies and you make a menu. They eat it. That's interesting. Yeah. I have a channel. I told you guys I have a channel called uh, Reviews of Movies I've Never Seen. And I review movies off the trailer. We were going to, me and my brother Charles, we were going to do a channel like that where we would review that we'd watch the trailer and we'd, we'd try to guess whether it's good or bad or if any of the main characters die or they always give away too much in the trailer. There are good trailers and bad trailers, but we were going to spend the money and go spend two hours on a horrible movie. So we, we would tell you if it's horrible or good off the trailer. Uh, what do you use for your main camera? It's very clear. I use a Canon 60D uh, for, my, for my kitchen, and I use the iPhone for my Jack on the Go. Ah, change your name to Cooking with Jack Black. <laughs> 10% American. Um, not sure what that means. But, uh, but anyway, so um, the latest video, thanks. I've been watching you since I was 12 years old. I'm now 21. Ah, uh, God bless you. That is so cool. That is cool when people have grown up with the show. That, I am honored. I am nobody. I am honored to know you guys. Seriously. And the fact that you have watched the show over time, that's just awesome. Oh, I meant 100% American. Yes, I'm 100% American. But my heritage, I'm just talking about my heritage. So uh, I have a little bit of a few things. Mainly it's Italian, but there's some Greek and Baltic and African American. And it, it's a... It's a mix. I had that all uh, measured out through my DNA testing. So, anyway, uh, the latest video out is La Lazy Man, um, Lazy Man Popeye. And if you haven't tried it, it's amazing. It's really good. So, I'm totally good with that. Oops. Let's have a new show. Let's see. Okay, the chicken pot pie video was super duper easy. Look at. It was so easy, I almost trashed the video. Not because it was a bad dish. Because it was, you know, you've heard the phrase stupid simple. It was stupid simple. So you guys got to watch this. It literally is put in the pan, put that in the pan, put it in the oven. Then I'm like, that was it? I'm almost embarrassed to even put the video up. But then when it came out, I was blown away. It's like my peach cobbler. You guys remember Lazy Man Peach Cobbler? Where I poured everything in the dish and the bread baked up over the peach cobbler, and it came out beautiful. That's the same with the pot pie. So I promise you, you will love the Lazy Man. I am stupid simple, according to my mom. I totally, you know what? That's what Lazy Man videos should be, uh, stupid simple. So that's why I left it up there. I thought you guys would really appreciate it. Uh, do you smoke weed, Jack? No, I don't smoke weed. Um, uh, my oldest son in uh, California does. Uh, but it's legal out there. And uh, even if it was legal out here, I wouldn't smoke it. That's like, I don't drink alcohol, but I could drink alcohol if I want. I could go to the store and buy it. Uh, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke weed. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, no, it's not too bad. It's, it's totally cool because, uh, you know, I, I just don't. Uh, I, I don't like anything that alters my mood, that changes me. I don't like that at all. I like to be top of my game. I like to be witty and sharp and know what's going on. I have enough trouble keeping my head straight with nothing. What was the favorite? I love how you spell favorite European style. It's great. What was the favorite meal from your mom? My favorite meal from my mom was teriyaki short ribs. And I believe that was the day she died that video came out. And you'll see a little, I think, no, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. The day that video aired uh, is when she passed. 
but is the most amazing marinade. It's, uh, it's four ingredients, and you will thank me for the rest of your life. Uh, remember the episode where you were doing a wing episode when you got the hot sauce on your finger and then in your eyes? I almost peed my pants laughing so hard. You guys love to see me in pain. I remember tasting the honey with ghost pepper in it. Oh, my gosh, that was stupid. Do some crack, go eat some barbecue, then most amazing marinade for barbecue is smoking crack. No, not really. All right, let's let's try and stay on track with the food. Let's stay away from the drug references, please. Because I want I you you've made some great I don't Pon Cretney, whatever your name is. Uh, you've made some good comments. So I don't want to ban you. So try to stay away from the drug references, please. Uh, we want one episode with all your bloopers. <laughs> I promise you, if there are any any good bloopers, I uh, literally I don't make many bloopers. So when I do, or I have a guest that makes bloopers, I'll always put it at the end of the video. You have more kids than Jack Jr. I can't believe we saw him grow so much. Yeah, so so Garrett, my oldest, he lives in California on his own, uh, and he uh, he was born way before the show. And then he's 10 years older than Jack Jr. So Jack Jr. and the show kind of came together at the same time. That's why you saw Jack Jr. a lot. Uh, plus, at that time, Garrett, there was a time Garrett wasn't living with us. So it wasn't easy to get him on camera. But I've done some Jack and the Goes with him. I really love your videos. I've been watching them for years. Sometimes when I watch your videos, I got it. Okay, so just... Just say no. There we go. Uh, you make, you could make an Irish burger with soda bread buns and a potato and cabbage hash browns. Hey, Don, why don't you make that recipe up for me, and then I'll shoot it for you. Uh, what's your favorite cookbook, Jack? Uh, my favorite cookbook is I have a copy of. Oops, stupid me. Sorry, I just put it on my computer. My mouse watering. My favorite cookbook is my uh, Betty Crocker, the very first Betty Crocker ever printed. I have the series one, print one, Betty Crocker cookbook, the original. I think it was red and white, but I have it upstairs wrapped in plastic. Um, that's my favorite cookbook. I have the joy of cooking. I have all the, I have the Rachel Ray 30 minute meal. There's nothing that stands out other than that first Betty Crocker. So let's see here. <laughs> What's the, I got it. Uh, yeah, but I don't think Betty Crocker was a real person. I don't believe Betty Crocker was a real person. I'm, I'm not sure. Can I send you a typical Belgian recipe? Promise it's not waffles. Yes, please do. So if anybody wants to send me an international recipe, I'll consider it and I'll do it for the show. But please, no American international. I want the real deal. I want you to come up with something. Like in Germany, I want the bratwurst and the, and the cabbage and the, the special seasonings I got to go hunt for because they're not readily available here in America. I've got to order them over the internet. Uh, I want true international. So Middle Eastern, don't send me falafel. Don't send me that recipe. Send me something better than falafel and shawarma, which I get here in America, you know, and sometimes it's not always done right. So I want deep, deep international. So something that's like your family favorite that we would never eat in America. That would be awesome. Made some deviled eggs, didn't cut them, hollowed them and pastry bag, the yolk in, mixed in devil's, devil's spit pickles. I've heard good stuff about that. Famous Dave's, always a classic. And a Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm not touching that. I bet those were. Um, so Gordon Ramsay, I just said, the best burger I've ever had was at Gordon Ramsay's Burger in Planet Hollywood on Las Vegas Boulevard on the Strip. Okay, they have a, I believe it's a, it's a, it was an appetizer called uh, like pepper uh, roulette, jalapeno pepper roulette or something, and it was like eight, eight shot glasses with jalapeno peppers in eat, deep fried in each glass. Okay and a little bit of dip at the bottom. You grab the pepper and then eat it, okay? All the seeds been taken out and put in one pepper. They, they scooped out all the seeds, 
out of the whole order and put one, one of those seven has all the seeds. And each one of your friends grabs one and you buy it at the same time. <laughs> I did not know that. I got to try that next time I go back. Uh, my grandmother was 100% German and always made the fan uh, with Oh, yeah, no desserts, please. International. Uh, more meat based, please. I don't like too much. Yeah, better than falafel. I love falafel, don't get me wrong. But I can get falafel right around the corner. I want something I can't get. I want to make a dish that you guys will look at and go, you know, that looks really good. I love German food, but I've never seen that. Or I love Middle Eastern food, but I've never seen that with that curry on it or whatever. Uh, can you make poached eggs? Yes. Uh, my mom used to poach eggs. She would drop, she called them dropped eggs on toast. She would drop an, uh, an egg, crack it and drop it in boiling water. And then she would scoop it out cooked and put it on a piece of toast. I must go eat that. Mm, I'm on the burger kick. What's your best blend of meat to make burgers? Um, best blend is like uh, beef with like chorizo has been good. Uh, or just make a whole patty out of chorizo. Make a whole patty out of hot Italian sausage. Italian sausage. Um, I love my best I've ever, like 50-50. 50% pork, 50% beef, beef is a great mix. That was, what restaurant was that? That was uh, Slater's 5050 in California. You guys remember that? I believe it's still around. I love my heat. I keep ghost peppers and habaneros on hand. You keep those. Yes, you hold on to those. Uh, pepper thing sounds interesting. Yes, it does. You guys should talk. Get the recipe from Chris. Uh, I, think some, I think Chris was the one who did the, the eggs and piped in the piping bag, I think. In Poland, you get a, a bigos with sauerkraut, but cooked long time and caramelized over a period of a week. Okay, well, that's cool. I remember I had to, I had to make kimchi and had to leave it on the counter and let it ferment. You can see all the bubbles and it going bad and all that. <laughs> going bad. It was good. I, I like kimchi. I really do, but you know what? Honestly, if you've been to enough kimchis, they all taste different. Uh, you'll find your favorite kimchi. Uh, let's see here. Uh, my dad called poached eggs on toast, eggs on a raft. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Uh, yep, we're in Europe, love fermenting stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll ferment stuff as long as it's, you know, it's nothing crazy and nothing poisonous or anything. Uh, do you like Tabasco? I love Tabasco. I like uh, chalupa, taco sauce, chalupa. I like Tabasco with chipotle. My son works chipotle. So, but I like Tabasco with chipotle, and I like red rooster. Those are the hot sauces that I, I tend to go with. The shaker seasoning of Slap Your Mama. If you haven't tried it, order it. Go to Walmart, order it online if you're from another country, but try it out. Slap Your Mama. Cajun seasoning is really good. I could do a whole uh, blood pudding. Yes, I've heard of blood pudding, but I've never made it. Um, we have our own varieties of, well, you guys are getting food crazy. That's great. We have our own uh, varieties of fermented everything. Go ahead and experiment. You won't hurt yourself. You can even, I have to look up how to ferment pork belly. Yes, I've heard that. Oh, could you imagine smoking fermented pork belly? Could you imagine just take a moment and think about it. The tanginess of the fermentation with the hardiness of the smoke flavor. Guys, I am way over time, and I apologize. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. There we go. We'll let that show, too. Sorry. The coronavirus was hitting here hard. Food City sold burgers for 7 or $8 a pound. Got one pound packs. I just bought, hey, Tam, do you remember how much that Kobe beef was? The meat we got at Sam's Club said Kobe beef. Yeah, find out for me, will you please? I just bought Kobe beef. Now, I, from what I heard, Kobe beef, real Kobe beef, is illegal to bring into the country. Uh, it's from Japan. The reason it, Kobe beef comes from these cows, they've fattened up. 
and they fed nothing but the best food. I mean, they even massage these cows. It's pathetic. But uh, it's the most fattiest, blended, beautiful piece of meat meal. I've tried a piece, and it's, it's heavenly. So I saw Kobe beef at Sam's Club. I'm guessing it's American Kobe, which some people will call it um, Wagyu. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I have to look at the back. But um, we bought a three-pack. Um, three I'm using that Kobe beef for the Asian, the awesome Asian burger, okay? Uh, but no, I would never pay that. How much? Fifteen ninety eight. Okay, so I paid fifteen ninety eight, and it's a three pound pack. It's in three pound portions. So you're looking at five and change, maybe. Uh, do you like House of Cards? Uh, that's an older. I was gonna watch that, but then big scandal with Kevin and all that. It was a mess. So I didn't. I didn't watch that, but I started to watch House of Cards. Uh, I was very well acted. Uh, Kevin Space is a good actor, but then the whole thing. I don't even know if it's on anymore or if they pulled it off or not. I think what they have in Sam's is called Kobe Style. I'm not sure what, why is it called Kobe Style? I'm not sure how to make meat Kobe Style. It's either Kobe or it isn't Kobe. Uh, I saw it the last time I was there. Oh, you saw it too? Kevin Spacey is a bad, bad man. Yes, he is, and luckily he was called out for it. Uh, reading any good books lately, uh, you likely have a lot of free time now. But, but, oh, I'm reading The Christian Atheist. That's the next book I'm reading. I haven't started it yet. It's literally ready to be clicked on. I listen to audiobooks because I'll sit on the front porch and I'll listen to audiobooks and sip a, a coffee or uh, one of those ice drinks or glass of ice water. And The Christian Atheist is about people who are Christian and yet they say they're Christian, but they act nothing like it. Like what some of you may say is a hypocrite. Uh, that's the book I'm reading. I don't know if it's any good, but it was recommended. It was bought for me as a gift. Hi, morning. What does the seed think about the news? One more time. I want to cover it really quick. Seeds are being mailed from China to people all over the country. And not, not all over the country, all over the world. I'm hearing in Germany. I'm hearing in Canada. I'm hearing Belgium and uh, Australia. Do not, any seeds that are mailed to you, do not plant them. Just for the sa saving the world, don't plant them. Send them to your local health authorities. Let them know it was mailed to you from China. First thing that comes to mind is they're trying to do something. That's the first thing. They may not be, but I can find no other explanation in my head that they accidentally mail people specifically seeds. Unless, I mean, they're not asking for you to buy their seeds or anything, and they're mailing them to you. So get rid of them. Give them to the health department. They'll destroy them. All right, where are we going here? Have you ever tried or made shepherd's pie? Yes. I just re I did it this year. Just uh, It's on the show right now. Have you ever studied what they ate in the New Testament? Food? That's, that's it. Uh, there's a scripture that says, uh, everything I've made is, is clean to eat. Uh, I don't know word for word, but... I know it exists. Jack, my man, what's up? Rohan, how are you? Yes, I got that. I got that video edited. By the way, so I, Rohan is in the room. I did his, his wing recipe. And it, it, I did, I reviewed an oven because his recipe was so intriguing, the, the combination. And it came out really, really good. In fact, I kept the oven because it was a good oven. But uh, I shouldn't even told you that, but you guys are my live audience. You get to hear things nobody else does. So I kept the oven, and yet I think the wing recipe was more of a hit of that video. So be looking for that. It should be coming up in the next week or so. Thank you, Rohan, um, for that recipe. And I'm still waiting. I think we're talking a Middle Eastern dish, looking for deep, deep Middle Eastern. If I have to mail order seasonings, I will. Uh, just need the just need the recipe. Tears of Fears, sowing the seeds of love. Tears of Fears, I remember I went to concert in California to see Tears of Fears. And we're at Irvine Meadows, and it's on the side of a hill, and we just heard this rumbling. And we're all looking around. Concert hasn't even started. And right up over the hill come three helicopters, and they hover right over our heads. There's three helicopters right over our heads, 
and they spotlighted the opening number. And it was awesome. Tears of Fears is one of my favorite bands. Depeche Mode, Tears of Fears, Boingo Boingo. Those are my top three uh, 80s bands. I think they're just incredible. I buy my seeds from Sneeds, Feed and Seed. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I believe like stuff locally, seeds locally um, are going to be okay. Uh, when is the Asia Burger Show? That's, that's, well, I'm about two weeks ahead of schedule and in the next four videos after that. So probably in about two to three months. No, no, probably shorter than that. In two months. Not this month, maybe like in September. Um, you got any ideas or breakdowns, but uh, when is the Asian burger coming? Yeah, in about the Asian burger is coming. Uh, I got some really good ideas. Uh, it's going to be awesome. There's going to be some great flavors in there too. Uh, thanks for turning me on to the Orion Cooker. Love it. Yes, great company. Good people. I know the owner of that company. He's a really good man. Uh, that place was a lot better when it was Chuck's. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I totally have held on to you too long, and I apologize. Free Boingo, is that a band? <laughs> uh, do you guys know why Danny Elfman left Oingo Boingo? And this is the last question I'm leaving. He left Oingo Boingo and went into composing music for the movies. He does The Simpsons. He did The Hulk. He does like a lot of major movies. You can go look at him on IMDb. You'll be blown away about all the blockbusters he's done. Okay? But why did Danny Elfman leave Oingo Boingo? Cheers, bro. I may have been in that helicopter. Gotcha. Do you remember that? I don't know if you went. <laughs> uh, no. Nobody, nobody has a guess. Why did, why did Danny Elfman leave Oingo Boingo? He was the guy with the spiky red hair. Have a great day, David. Uh, I will see you both uh, later, okay? Really quick. Waiting, waiting. See you, CJ. All right, I'm letting you guys go. The reason Danny Elfman left Oingo Boingo is he was going deaf. He was going, his ears, uh, his ears, uh, his losing hearing because of the volume that they played the music when they performed. And if you've never seen Oingo Boingo on Halloween, it was classic. It was a, every Halloween they performed in California. Uh, have a great day. We love you in Belgium. Love you too, Wim. Take care. Have a nice day. I've never heard of you, but hello. Hello. <laughs> I have a new friend. Uh, thank you, Lisa. So um, that was it. Like the ACDC guys, only they just kept on rocking. Yes. My, my car is dead. You guys are crazy. All right. I love you. I'll take care, and I will catch you next Saturday morning, same time, all right? Bring your questions because it's Q&A Saturday next week, and we're going to let you guys drive the show, all right?